When it comes to soil pH, there's really two major categories or two major types of, of lime that you can use to help raise those levels. If your magnesium levels are low, you're going to want to go with a dolomitic lime. And if your magnesium levels are adequate, which mine are, according to my soil test data, you're going to want to go with the calcitic lime. So, so I, I hear this a lot. How do you know you're low in magnesium? Now, I mean, he, he may generally be low in magnesium. His soul test said it wasn't, but his soul test is irrelevant to me. It's errant. I couldn't care less what that soul test says. But if you did a Malik 3 or... If he's low, it, magnesium deficiencies, any, any nutrient deficiency, is extremely easy to resolve. And it almost never results in death. It will result in chlorotic turf, yes. It'll result in redu reduction in turf growth, yes. But it's not like water or temperature, where if you shut the water off, eventually the turf grass, and it doesn't rain, eventually the turf grass is going to die. Or if you're in the middle of, um, you know, the desert and you're having, if you're in South Texas and you try to grow, you know, Kentucky bluegrass, it's going to die because of the heat. Nutrients don't do that. Nutrients, d d nutrient deficiencies in, in normal systems, native soil systems, even putting greens, it's not going to die as a result of the nutrient deficiency. It just almost never happens. I don't know if that's ever been documented. So these ideas that you're low in magnesium, so you got to use dolomitic lime. Well, if you are low in magnesium, you'll see it in the turf grass. And if you are low in magnesium and if you need to adjust pH, then sure, dolomitic lime might be a way to go. But I don't really think you need to adjust pH that frequently, as near as frequently as people think they do. And I really don't think you need to apply magnesium as much just because I don't see magnesium deficiencies in the literature hardly at all. We've tried to induce magnesium deficiencies in the field, and it's not easy. It is not easy to induce a magnesium deficiency in normal native soils because the soils are loaded with magnesium and magnesium remains soluble. It mineralizes, it remains soluble in the soil. It's not going to form insoluble compounds with other elements such as uh, such as iron wood or manganese wood or something like that. Magnesium is going to remain soluble. So this idea that, oh, I need to be apply the right type of lime, calcitic lime or, or dolomitic lime. One, you probably don't need to apply any lime at all unless your pH is resulting in unacceptable turf or some sort of nutrient toxicity that is so low and aluminum manganese or so high because the pH is so low that you need to lime it. And there's some cases you can do that. Okay. Um, you probably don't need to, but you sure as heck don't need to worry about both magnesium deficiencies and pH adjustments.